Today on this guy's branch, we're going to give you all the information you need for your DIY at home painting projects when it comes to exhaust fans. All this coming up. And it comes with a shutter mount. So why did I go with the size unit? Well, actually, there was paintwork used to go on in this building that I'm in, so there's already a 12 by 12 hole in my uh, wall, so that's why I chose this. But one of the things that you do need to consider when you're choosing one of these units is the stud centers on your garage. So uh, my garage has 16 inch centers, so to avoid cutting your, your studs, get one that goes between your centers. All right, let's get it into the wall. So you're gonna be installing it so that the flaps fall down. This will keep bugs and pests out when you're, you don't have it plugged in. So there's a few things you need to consider when you're buying an exhaust fan. This exhaust fan is 650 CFMs. Now that doesn't sound like much. When you're talking about painting and paint boots, you're basically trying to simulate a paint boot. When they talk about paint boots, they talk about cross draft, side draft, down draft. They all have the key phrase, draft. All you're trying to create is a draft. You're just looking to move air. You're not looking to create a hurricane. If your exhaust fan is too big and you do not set it up properly, you will draw you will have more dirt in your paint jobs because it will take the dirt out of every seam in your garage. It will just pull dirt from everywhere. So you just want to gently move air. So you're just looking to move air. You're looking for that paint to breathe for the amount of time it needs to breathe until it cures. So you don't want to overcompensate with a too large of an exhaust fan. When you're initially setting it up, a good test is close your door It should gently open. If your door flies open, you're moving way too much air. Your garage is too tight. And if your garage is too tight, you, you're going to definitely want to create a porthole so that you can control the movement of air and where the air is coming from. You just want to create a cross draft effect so you can gently move air. And the good thing about this setup is it came with a speed control for the fan. You can turn this fan down till it will run at half speed. If you have any questions at all about setting up a paint booth, down below let me know what you think. If you uh, are a DIY painter, let me know what you do in the comment section down below. If you want more information on this exhaust fan, there will be links posted in the description down below. If you're not too exhausted, you can watch another video right around here. Hitting that subscribe button is another great way to help us out. Until the next time, folks, this guy is.